Space Cat, Don Krishna. Land Rouge. Space Cat took off his rocket. He was flying home to Earth. I'm hungry, said the Space Cat. My fish and jelly noodles will be ready soon. Said Earl the robot. You don't know how to cook, said Space Cat. The last time you made noodles, they taste like glue. A robot never gives up, said Earl. Suddenly there was a crash. Red lights flashed and buzzers buzzed. What was that? asked the Space Cat. It was a space rock. It hit our rocket and made a hole in the fuel tank. We will run off fuel soon. I see a planet ahead, said Space Cat. We can land there to fix our rocket. Space Cat land safely on the planet. I'll go outside and look for some fuel, he said. I will stay here. I will stay here and fix the fuel tank, said the Earl. Then I will fix dinner. A robot never gives up. They can walk outside. He saw a big city ahead. I will look for some fuel there. Spacey came to the city. He saw many strange creatures. Excuse me, he said. I need some rocket fuel. Can you help me? He rocks us all the fuel, said the creature. He lives in that big castle. Space Cat went to the castle and knocked on the big door. A guard opened it. Please help me, said Space Cat. I need some fuel to get home. Follow me to the king's room, said guard. They walked into a big room. I am King Zor said the big creature on the throne. What do you want? A space rock in my rocket, mm, said Space Cat. My rocket fuel is all gone. I need some more, more to get home. Sorry, said the King Zar. Sorry. I need all the fuel on this planet. I am the big king with big plan. And my plants need lots of fuel. But how can I live without rocket fuel? Asked the space cat. I must go home. Well, I guess you're stuck here, said, the, said King Zorp. This is not a bad planet, said King Zorp. The people are nice. The food is good. Let me show you around. King Zorp took Space Cat into another big room. He pushed the button, buzz, clink, clink. The machines rattled and puffed. The room rumbled with all the noise. These machines are part of my big plans, said King Zorp. This one helps clean the water. That one cleans the air. All my machines need lots of fuel. That is why you cannot have even one drop. The room rumbled louder. But I can stay, Space Cat, said Space Cat. I must go home. I. Space Cat stopped, clanking, buzz. The room began to shake. The, the machines popped and rattled louder and louder. Screws and bolts, screws and bolts fell to the floor. My machines are falling apart, says King Zorp. Suddenly the door opened. Hello, space, hello, space cat, said Earl. He was holding a bowl of noodle. I was looking for you, he said. I fixed the fuel thing. Now I am making the noodles. What I can find the ketchup. Crack! Look out! said King Zorp. That machine is coming loose. Space Cat wrapped the bowl from Earl. 
He threw it at the machine's blab. Noodle dripped from the bowl. They covered the machine and the wall. The machine was stuck. It did not fall. How, how did you know those noodles would do that? Asked King Zorb. Those noodles taste like glue. Spit biscuit so I thought they would also stick like glue. How can I thank you? asked King Zorp. Please give me a little fuel for my rocket, said Spitzcat. With pleasure, said King Zorp. Space Cat took some fuel back to his rocket plan. Whoosh! The rocket took off. I'm still hungry, said Space Cat. Good, said Earl. I am making some spaghetti and meatballs there in the toaster now. <sighs> it is going to be a long trip home, said the Space Cat. Bye-bye.